Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Aglasim Schools. In this video, we'll be covering exercise 14.2 of chapter, obviously 14, of grade 7 NCRT textbook. This exercise is related to a very important chapter that is symmetry. Now, starting with question number 1 that says which of the following figures have a rotational symmetry of order more than 1? Now, the first figure that is A part has rotational symmetry as 4 which we have already shown it here. So, it is this way. First, second, third and lastly the fourth one. In the figure B, we have 3, Y, this is how it is. So the order of relational symmetry of a geometric figure in the number of times you can rotate the geometric figure so that it looks exactly like the original ones. So moving to part C, we have only one symmetry here. In part D, we can see we have 2. In part E, we have 3. In part F, we have 4. So accordingly, answer is A, B, D, E and F have rotational symmetry more than 1. Question number 2 now says, give the order of rotational symmetry for each figure. A figure is this one. So here will be 2. Why? Because if this is rotated by 180 degree, it will be somewhere like this. So just we have to rotate it by 180 degrees. It will again come like this. And 360 degree again back to that position. In part B, if rotated by 180 degree, it will be like this. And if it is rotated by 360, it will be again like this. So again, the answer is 2. In part C, it has 3. Why? This we have learnt in the previous figure too. This is how it will look like. So it will have 3. And lastly, the figure 4, that is the D part, it has 4. 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree and again 90 degree. The so 4 blades come in 90 degree each. Now in the E part, we have this figure. So it will, if be rotated by 90 degree, it will be like this. This X position will change. See, it will come here and finally reach this place. So there is 4. The given figure has rotational symmetry of 5 for figure F. Why? Remember this. If it is at top, if we rotate it 72 degree, 1. 72 degree again, 1. Again 72 degree, 1. Again 72 degree, this and finally this position. Similarly, you can do it for G part and H part. In G part, the position that is the dot given at the top bottom, it will reach southeast, then south, then it's southwest, then northwest. So similarly, you can do G part. It will have rotational symmetry as 6. In the star, you have to see the dot at the north pole. Firstly, it reaches northeast, then southeast, then south then southwest and then northwest and finally again to north. And the last figure, it will be 3 if it is rotated 120 degree each, the circle will come onto the same position after 360 degree rotation. So this is all from our exercise. For more such informative videos, do subscribe to our channel and keep browsing Aglasem schools. Thank you.